Hey everyone. Folks, it is my pleasure to present Open Council President and friend Lynette Gibson McElhaney, and we're at Perch Cafe. How are you doing? And I note that Perch Cafe. This was done in September, September twenty fourth of two thousand sixteen, and at my favorite cafe down the street from where I live, Perch Cafe at four forty Grand Avenue. And it's also the place where, just after that, in fact, just before that interview, I made this video, the only black man in Cafe in Oakland. Uh, listen. I have to mark this occasion, folks. It was the first time I've ever been in a cafe in Oakland, even Adams Point, and been the only black guy in it. I'm serious. The only time. And it's a great day. It's a beautiful Friday. Let me take a look. See? Right now, I'm the only guy. The only black guy. That's the changing over. I've never seen that before in my entire life. That is absolutely wild. But, there you go. Perch has given way to Mud Lab. Perch was owned by a man named James Crosby, who was black. And the last time I was at Perch was last year, November, when I came back home for just a spell. But the place that was once the coffee home of the Adams Point Central Business District, as I like to refer to it, is gone. It is given way to something called Mud Lab. Mud Lab is a zero waste grocery store and it announced on May 23rd of 2020 that we are moving to, well, let's read, we are moving. We are very excited to announce that we'll soon be relocating. As of June 1st, please come visit us at 440 Grand Avenue, formerly Perch Coffee House, where we'll be serving zero waste coffee, tea, oba tea, ice cream, only in cones, picnic kits, and more. We will also have our current merchandise for sale, including books, zero waste supplies, and soaps. We're setting up a one-in-one -one out system whereby guests bring a reusable jar of vessel each visit. We sanitize that reusable overnight. And the next time you visit, you may be receiving your own, your very own contribution. The system will allow us to collect, sanitize, and redistribute reusables in a safe way. There will be no cross-contamination because of the one-day delay sanitize system. Mud Lab. Mud Lab says that it is focused on the theory of change. They're a nonprofit with a mission of helping businesses in Oakland and beyond phase out single use plastics. They encourage a slow down approach to sustainability. Single use plastics are only one facet of sustainability. And they say that they have the guidance and support of partner organizations using the model of the new Parkway, single-use plastic-free movie theater. They help Perch Coffee House in Oakland go single-use plastic-free in September 2019, which is last year. We recently began serving zero-waste coffee at the former Perch, Perch Coffee House, which is now called Mud Lab. Wow, what a change. And I have to note, though, that went from uh, a black-owned business to this um, nonprofit sort of would seem cooperative ownership structure. Uh, James was black, and um, I have to note the the alteration. Let's see what the space looks like inside. I haven't been there yet. The founders of Mud Lab are Sarah Headley to the left and Vanessa Pope to the right. And they've made a significant change to the storefront, which looks now more like a whimsical kind of 
school place. It's really interesting. And by the way, a Berkeley side broke this story. You have to give credit where credit is due. Um, and there's another shot of it. And here's a shot of the interior that uh, once played host to Perch Coffee. And uh, here's another picture as well. Big change. We have a gigantic alteration in the, the coffee scene because where Mud Lab is more of a grocery store, Perch was a true sit-down cafe where you get your work done and everything else. But the shelter in place, I think, was really... Well, let me take that, I think, out of my sentence. Hurting a lot of businesses, particularly sit-down cafes that were already on a margin. And Perch was certainly already on a mar budget margin. Just a matter of time. Here is another photograph of the interior. That table is a remnant from Perch Coffee and was a central communal table where people would sit with their laptops and do work. On the left, we see shelves was once a back area room where you could sit down on a large in a large sofa chair and do your work or in another table like this one along the window on the right you can get an individual table or in the back in the back area of this where the windows are where I interviewed Oakland Council Member Gibson, Gibson McElhaney in 2016 so to this I say welcome to the new digs and I will be visiting you Mud Lab looks like an exciting concept. As much as I will miss being able to go down and have coffee at Perch and get a little work done. Subscribe to Zenia62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.